In my restaurants to reduce food waste, we look at it from the bottom up and the top down. If you look at everything that comes in the door and you consider using it, not just, you know, you can throw everything in the compost bin and consider it not being waste, or you could take everything that comes in the door and ask yourself, am I using this for the highest intended purpose? We buy all organic food. It's expensive. So we don't really want to waste any of it. So we started to think like, what can we do with the carrot tops? What can we do with the cashew milk pulp after we make our cashew milk? So yeah, you just get creative um, and try not to waste any bit of it as possible. And that sometimes that makes the cooks, gives them a challenge and they like to come up with fun new things. So we created a vegan cheese from our cashew pulp. We mixed in avocados, we mixed in herbs, and all of a sudden now we have like really hundreds and hundreds of pounds of cashew pulp turned into a cheese. Now it is mixed with avocados, which are pretty expensive, but uh, it was pretty awesome. It's one of our best selling items. You put a little bowl on top of the trash can and or the compost bin and just capture everything you would normally toss through. And at the end of the shift, or day or whatever period of time, just look through the bowl and take every little piece and ask yourself, what could I do with this? We try to like maybe in Carlsbad, we'll save croissants and uh, morning buns and pan au lait, certain sweeter breads and we'll make bread pudding and we'll sell that. Um, or here we actually save some of the bread and we make a romesco sauce, which is like a Spanish red pepper sauce that usually has um, stale bread in it, so we'll take a couple of loaves and toast it off and then mix that into the, the um, romesco sauce. One easy thing to do if you do have a set menu is to play around with some form of these byproducts and just use it as an ever-changing garnish on a set menu. If you've already got your costing set and you're throwing it away and that's out of your costing, then you really are getting that ingredient for free only the, you know, the labor you got to spend on it. So there are ways to put this way of thinking into a more rigid program. Um, and you always have the specials board for scenarios where um, that happens. Well, same thing as before, right? Like if your menu is already costed out minus that waste and everything, then you're basically as a restaurant getting a special for free. Um, and who doesn't like free money?